Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. That's right, guys. I want you to go to www.f2bbs.com. That's right. I want you to go there. You can, uh, this is a, a great site to fight against all sorts of nasty and nastiness by posting on f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Go there, guys. Hey guys, it's your partner, Archie Luxury. Today, guys, I'm doing a paid review. This is the bread and butter of this channel, the Paul Pluto channel. I do paid reviews. That's what we, that's the way we swing here. Uh, now, guys, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, this is a paid review. Let's just jump straight in. This is for E. Hey Arch, my name's E. Please keep my name anonymous via the email. I'm a big fan of your channel. I wanted you to review and share my story on my two watches. Yes, that's right. Only two watches. My beloved 1999 Rolex Submariner 16610. Ooh, quick wristwatch check. What am I wearing? Well, I'm wearing the one, two, my shoulders sore. The 126610LN. This is basically the uh, current version of the Subdate Steel. Okay. And my 2004 Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon, the 3570.50. The backstory is I am a technician at a nuclear power plant. My first watch when I was 12 was a Seiko SKX007, a rugged shader that served me well. I wore it up until I purchased both my Amiga and Rolex on the same day, nine years ago, when I turned 21. That was a painful but pleasant day, Arch, i got to tell you. But it's supposed to hurt, as you might say. I wear my watches daily to work and throughout life as companions. One or the other is always on my wrist. Every sketch and start scar tells a story and hold, holds memories. My personal perspective on owning each of these is that they were both made to be worn. My opinion is that if you are someone who is afraid to wear their Rolex or Amiga because of the high cost, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have bought them and probably don't have the coin to truly enjoy them. Wear them, fikers. So let's flip the coin now. I don't, won't mind owning a third piece. I have held off because the two current pieces haven't let me down or lost their glorious appeal. But I think it's time for a third. Why the fike not? What's your opinion, Arch? The Rolex Explorer 2 sparks a considerable interest in the... White Dial, let's hear it. Give me your thoughts on my two watches and recommend a third. I value your opinion. Keep it up. Cheers. Uh, now these here, you can see in the picture, he's got a 1999 Rolex Submariner 16610 drilled lugs and upgraded with a solid end uh, period correct genuine Rolex bracelet. Uh, that's that's what they they can this was the intermediate period there and a 2004 Omega Speedmaster professional Helsolite crystal and solid case back he's referring to the uh, the sapphire sandwich okay okay so what do I think of this what do I think a young guy who's got two watches. He's got a sub marina date and a speedy man on the moon, man on the moon. And I got to tell you, E, that could be a perfect collection. Let's look at that. Omega Rolex. Automatic manual wind. Sapphire Helsolite. 
very different watches. One's got a date, one's wind and wear. One's a diver, one's a chronograph. Beautiful two-piece pair, really. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. How many watches do you need? We live in this Instagram generation. We've got to have 50 watches, a Bentley, a Lamborghini. It's all bullshit. Okay, that's, that's not really how people live there. Um, I've got to be honest with you. Um, I gotta be honest with you. How many? I think that's a beautiful two piece. In some ways, I'm envious of that collection. Is that you've found happiness with two pieces? And I've owned similar models, I, I've had some speedies. I'm wearing a a, a Submarina date. I've got a Submarina date. Date? Yes, I do. I have one on my wrist there. That's shoulder. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's very, very cool. I mean, i, I got to be honest with you. I've kind of started to really respect a smaller collection there. And... Uh, I've, I've had a number of watches myself. I've got six paddocks at the moment. I've got a subby. I've got a reverse. So I'm thinking, you know, it's just, what do you want in life? And if you get just beautiful, usable pieces, it's like a Leatherman or a Swiss Army knife. Just something you can use. It's quality. It's expensive. You buy it once. You buy it right. You don't need to muck around. i got to tell you, honestly, I love that two-piece combo E. Don't ever think there's anything wrong with that. That's an amazing collection. Some people collect all their life and they miss the icons like that. Two icons. I've got to say, for a third, what would I do for a third? Um, <clears throat> I'd probably, <clears throat> my own opinion is, I would probably go 40 mil. Explorer 2 Black Dial. You might say, ooh, Arch, you've always gone polar, polar, polar. Guys, the only reason I flogged the polar was that I, I got it cheaper. It was $1,000 cheaper than a black. Now the worm has turned because some morons actually believe the crap I was saying. I, I, I love the black. Explorer 2 40 mil. I think it's a, you can get that Hulse case. <clears throat> the, the sweet spot would be if you could get one with the solid end links and Hulse case. Because i got to be honest with you, Austin Daniels made a great video. He reckons the, the tool, the best Rolexes were pre-ceramic with the Hulse case. And Although I really, really do love my Submarina. I really do love my Submarina with the, <clears throat> this is the latest model. There's something I really respect about having the Hulls case. It's so utilitarian. You know what I mean? This has become a, the one I've got has become a fancy luxury show off watch. Herman shows shirt, by the way. You like the the purple inside there. It's got a great, it's on my, my collar as well. Beautiful, beautiful shirt, Herman. My shoulder's sore. So I got to tell you, um, E, what a beautiful three-piece combo. Done and dusted. That's it. What a beautiful thing to have. What a absolute beautiful thing to have three piece combo look the two is amazing that's all you need that's it well, you only need one <laughs> you got to have the sub that's it but you've got the speedy you got the sub uh i gotta be honest with you i think i missed the boat on the subs i sold my <laughs> sub they were going on joma shop 3500 bucks now oh 
just under five. And that was a month ago I looked. Uh, look, I, I seriously would say to you, add an explorer, sure. You don't have to. The two is fine, but if you really want to, sure. Uh, now, you, you told me, when did you get that? You got that when you turned 21. Uh, you bought this. You bought both of these here when you turned 21. Nine years ago. So, oh, you're 30. Okay, yeah. Get the the Explorer 2. If you want to add a fourth after that, and I mean, you, you really, you don't. But say, say, look, I mean, if we don't have aims, we don't go anywhere. If we don't aim the car down the road, we end up in the tree, in the bush, in the dirt. So, you know, maybe the only other thing I'd add to that as a four-piece would be an X. I would add the Explorer, then I would add a Jager Lacoutre Reverso. Okay, add a Reverso. Steel Reverso as your dress watch. And down the track, your 50th or 60th, if you could add a paddock. That's it. What a wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous collection. Just... And you don't even need to add that other crap. You don't have to add the paddock. You don't need to add the reverso. I'm just telling you how I would would aim. But i got to be honest with you. Uh, very, very envious. At 21, you decided to get Speedy and a Subdate Diver Steel. Absolutely perfect. Please don't ever sell those two. Please. Promise me you never sell those two. That's a fantastic little collection. Man, wear it with pride. Very, very well done. I'm Archie Luxury. It's been a paid review. Guys, remember, like, subscribe. Tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some negatives if you didn't like the vid. Or what, what do you think, guys? You tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, guys, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need these paid reviews to survive so we can survive that's right guys i need to survive so um guys tell me what you think and uh please 50 us dollars for a paid review and i will see you in the next one look down below for details how to get your paid review the rolex submarina date Probably the most versatile, the most famous, the most wanted watch of 2020. The Rolex Submariner. Absolutely stunning. I've gone for the steel model. I wanted something that could be worn every day. The businessman's delight. Look at the side profile. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got to tell you, I am in love with this Submariner. Black on black. Does it get any, any better? Black on black. The Rolex Submariner. This is what the, the, this is just such a beautiful, look at the, I got to tell you, the Maxi, that just the whole thing, this whole thing is everything. The ceramic sub should have been from day one. Absolutely winner, winner, chicken, chicken dinner. Absolutely. And it's got the new clasp with the glide lock for easy adjustments. Absolutely winner, winner, chicken dinner dinner hi guys Archie luxury and who do I recommend in America in America who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches David SW David SW David SW go to David SW.com he is the best the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America David SW David SW David S.W. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the 
Strand Arcade in Sydney, Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co, that is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.